So here we're going to look at tire impressions and the examination process for those tires. Being able to understand the different types of tread and what to look for. So it's all going to be covered here in this video lecture. So starting with crime scene evidence versus the known. So tire tread examinations uh, compare tire impressions recovered from the scene with tires taken from a known vehicle. Those two categories of tires are the suspect, the vehicle um, is suspected to have or be at the crime scene, and then we have vehicles we need to also eliminate. And these are vehicles that could be the police, ambulance, or other sources for known purposes. All tires should be seized from the suspect's vehicle to allow a, an adequate comparison and pick should be taken here as we see also with the indication of that what's read on the sidewall as well. These are class characteristics. So keep in mind cl class characteristics can be used to eliminate suspect's tire or suggest a tire could have made the track. These characteristics include the size, the tread design, and wear marks. These aren't individual characteristics, you're just saying the same class or the same general type of tire could have made those um, particular tracks. Again, we're looking at some of the details here, and this is why images and photographs from the scene can be so important. I mean, this can lead to a visual comparison. These tire impressions are a result of transfer from um, tread detail and tire against a substrate. In this case, it could be kind of this sand, could be the actual um, asphalt, could be snow, uh, could be mud. Uh, impressions can be made here. Uh, it could be two or three dimensional. Forensic examinations can begin with visual comparisons to eliminate tires which do not match the impressions. It's a great way to kind of quickly eliminate or quickly classify certain prints just by using the visual cues. Known tires collected should be inked and have 3D impressions made for comparison purposes. Keep in mind you want to look at the entire tread, you don't want to look at small section. Forensics examination continues with a full circumference test of the impressions. This is where you kind of like ink the tire. You want to ink the entire circumference of the tire, not just a small section. Impressions are superimposed on known uh, imp impressions over cast or the original tire. The goal is to try to find consistencies or a unique abnormality, which, uh, such as a point of damage or something caught in the tread, to try to match up that particular tire with being present at that part of the crime scene. General tire evaluation, other factors that should be investigated include the tread design. We want to be looking at the uh, tread dimensions and noise treatments, potential wear features, and random individual characteristics. As I mentioned, it could be a damage point in the tire or potentially even a small stone caught in that tire. Because that can lead us to the individual characteristics that can help us kind of use to identify an exact tire. Remember, individual characteristics can change over time. That's why it's important to try to get the match to be as close as possible. You could have a, a refilling point, a plug point, could be a nail in the tire, could be different wear marks, different cracks in the tire, um, or something kind of unique that's, that is wedged in that um, end rubber there. So again, these are individual characteristics and this can really help solidify an argument that that tire was present uh, at the particular scene it was documented. Obtain an inked of the known standards. This is where it's important to kind of get that, instead of said, that entire um, circumference of the tire. You can use an ink surface that's longer than the total circumference of the tire to ensure you get everything. Also have the surface um, to receive the ink of equal or greater length. So here's the ink area. You want to make sure you ink the entire tire. You want to have an area where you can transfer that tread over the entire surface. Because the goal is to obtain a full circumference inked impression for that tire. Then we have something called tread blocks, and these are tread designs are comprised of tread blocks which vary in size to help reduce noise. The arrangement uh, never repeats and is different on each side, which is why a full circumference impression is so important because you will have the manufacturers have different uh, dimensions for those tread blocks to help reduce overall noise of the tire while it's being driven. We want to offer comparison of the ink to the cast, so it's advised to pass the ink impression directly over the cast to try to identify corresponding tread blocks. I'm going to take that and kind of, kind of shift it to see if you can get different areas to match up. If a match is found, this can uh, the specific tire segment can be compared to the actual tire directly, which can really strengthen an argument. Actual um, to cast uh, tire comparison, the blue tape is used to show the matching segment that the cast corresponds with because the cast, remember, is only going to be a small portion of that tire. So here we're trying to determine, well, where is it within that tire? So do you notice something unique either in the cast, which would be a little harder to see, or the actual tire? 
Well, when you're looking at very close and looking at the visual, the photograph overlaid on top of the cast shows uh, this correlation where this stone placement is an exact match. So to go back for one second, here you can see that these, these stones caught in the tire. And if you look very carefully, you might get an indication of that stone also showing up on the cast. When you kind of overlay those two over one another, it's very probable uh, that this tire made the cast impression at the crime scene. So here it's very possible that with this visual match that you have these individual characteristics that this kind of stone here matches up with the cast and the original tire, um, indicating that it's very likely or very probable that this tire made the cast impression found at the crime scene.